Hall in Ferndale. Now, you'd think there's a lot of ferns over there in Ferndale, Washington, writes to me. And he says, I saw your post about setting up a music server, and you mentioned that using a computer um, uh, uh, as such, that many people suggest the computer is noisy in an audio setup, which it is. The computer to DAC via USB to amplifier. Is there a way to isolate the computer to prevent the noise generated by the computer and let's say before the DAC? And you also mentioned using an Apple product um, which was bit perfect and sorry I should have been prepared. Um, is an Apple computer quieter as a music server than a Windows based PC? All right, this in yesterday we talked about the noise that a computer makes. And when you buy a server, there's a small computer called a single board computer or an SOM, a, a system on module, which is essentially a computer inside. And that makes noise, a lot of digital noise, a lot of, you know, radiated noise. I mean, if you don't believe me, t t take an old AM radio or one of the, um, we, we use those all the time. What, um, they're like little AM receivers that uh, you buy at the hardware store for telling whether an AC plug is live or not. You stick it in and it makes a noise because it's picking up all the crap. Take one of those next to a CD player or a computer and just see that thing light up. I mean, they are terribly noisy. Okay, and we talked about this yesterday and how we galvanically isolate our products, but that's something that is almost never done. So in general, when you have a Windows or a Mac computer and you're using it as your server and connecting that computer with your DAC through USB, that's a very noisy environment. It's electrically noisy, the ground is noisy, and it's not the best situation. I always recommend, if you can, do something other than USB, but out of a computer, you're kind of stuck with USB. There's not much else you can do. So, what can we do? There are products on the market called USB isolators. Now, they can be problematic and they can be a pain in the keister because I've seen it with our DACs. If our DAC doesn't see because uh, you have to remember, USB is two-way communication. It goes to the DAC, the DAC talks back to the computer, and there's a two-way conversation going on over USB. So whatever you were to buy to place in between the USB uh, connectors of the computer and of the DAC, you got to be careful that it's a good one. There, there is a thing called a V-bus, which is five volts that uh, is used across the USB medium. Uh, when you have a, a phone and you hook it up through USB, you can charge your phone, right? Well, that's used through that V bus, that five volts. Uh, and that's required on some DACs, like ours. Ours requires it. It looks for it. It's part of the USB standard. So, Look online and find a real high quality USB isolator and grab one of those and those do seem to work and I would recommend them highly and it will improve the sound because it cleans up some of the noise that you get from your Mac or your Windows. I don't know that a Mac or a Windows are any different in noise. I, I, mean, I truly have no clue. I'm a Mac guy. I've used Macs for years just because I think they are a lot friendlier and I've grown up with them, so eh, I have no idea whether one's noisier than the other. Uh, the last thing I will tell you is that if you're using a computer, like a Mac or a Windows for a music server, do not use the internal path for music provided by the computer. It sucks. Don't do it. Okay, seriously, don't do it. They, they say, oh, it's wonder. It's not. It sucks. You want to get a program like Otervana or BitPerfect if you have a Mac 
I, I have been more and more recommending Autorvana because it's available for Windows, it's available for Mac, it bypasses the entire god-awful chain inside of a computer so that you get the right sample rate, that you get what you are hoping for out of a music server. So do not use the built-in thing and try and use a good USB cable and some kind of isolator and I think you'll have a pretty good system. Okay? All right. Thanks for the question. Talk to you later.